Hi guys. All right. Today class, we're going to discuss about sensor device, how to configure sensor, how to interface a relay with sensor, how to interface a contactor with a sensor, how to also interface your PLC with a sensor. I think we have a pictorial view of PLC. I also have the sensor here. This is the sensor we are talking about. We have a lot of sensor types, okay? We have a lot of them. We have capacitive sensor, inductive sensor, and um, so many of them. Uh, so that is the pictorial view of a sensor. Uh, we're going to discuss the basic function of sensor. The basic function is simply switch, just switching function, open and close, open and close. We also have uh, sensors with a dry contact function. Okay, as we progress, we know about them all. So this is my PSC Siemens logo. We are going to also write a program and interface the connection of this to our field device. That is to use sensor as our input switch, all right? Our input a bit to activate a process. Okay, instead of using push button, we use sensor to activate a process. Okay, so we we'll discuss about that. Then we also have a C this other a 1200 S1200 Siemens a CPU a PLC. So you know how to do that. The same thing, both the smaller one, this one, and the, the other one, the connections are the same. Just that this one is a miniaturized size. That is this uh, Siemens logo. But basically, what I want you to understand, just pay attention to sensor configurations and function. So we can now use sensor to integrate to any process uh, automation or any logic uh, process um, operation. Okay, so understand the functions of um, sensors. And their configurations the basic function is switching method just switching function then other secondary activity of sensor are just primary secondary function but the major function is switching switching method switching uh, circuit off and on all right so if you want to understand sensor let's use a normal conventional switch that we have to illustrate the sensor function if you understand the function of this uh, the set is applicable to sensor function. So let's just illustrate how switch function. I want to feed this lamp. I want this lamp to come up. I feed this to my lamp. Look at the lamp come on. On, off, on, off. All right. So if I activate this switch, I will have the circuit complete to the lamp. If I deactivate this, the lamp go off. So that is what sensor does to your circuit. So take away this. We're going to replace it now with a sensor. All right. All right. Now uh, let's get a sensor. Look at the look for symbol of sensor here. So let's say this is our sensor. Okay. All right. Now this particular sensor is such that once the sensor is activated, the output here will be true. Okay. So let's do that now. Let's simulate. All right, see the sensor. Okay, when the sensor is activated, the circuit is complete. It's opening and closing. That is the function. Now we also have another type of sensor that is going to be MPN or PNP. Let's look for three sensor, three cable. Okay, MPN type now. Okay, now this is this type of sensor. All right, so this type of sensor is the more common sensor you need to use for your PSC configurations. All right, this one we have three cables. Okay, this one that has three cable demand positive negative to feed the sensor. Whenever I want to integrate sensor to your circuit, always watch out for the voltage range, the voltage and the current. The why why you must pay attention to voltage and current so that when you are connecting, you know that you are working with DC or you are working with AC or you are working with a particular range of voltage. Okay, like this one I showed you now. Whenever I want to use sensor, I always buy the ranges of voltage so that I can over, always use any very variable uh, voltage that is required to integrate into my logic. Like this particular one now, the voltage range is 3 volts to 36 volts DC. So that is the range of voltage. Then the current for the switching strength, the current rating is 30 milliamp. All right, 30 milliamp, that is the limit of the strength the switch can carry. 
So because of that, we always uh, integrate, um, interface a sensor with a relay because the current current capacity of the contact is very, very small. Okay, so let's do that now. Let's test this, use it to drive this load. Now, this one demand positive, negative to feed the sensor first before sensor give us output. How do we go about that? Just take a look. That is the positive side of it. I take the positive to feed from my source. If I'm using the same voltage, I also feed my negative. Now, the requirement for the sensor is complete. So there is now left for the sensor to give me its own requirement that is giving me this output. So how do I get the output from sensor? I will now get my output from here and feed my lamp. All right, take away this. All right, so this is the configuration for three uh, terminal sensor. So in that case now, I've inputted positive to the sensor, negative to the sensor. Sensor will now give me positive out. How do I know that the sensor will give me positive? When you want to get a sensor, check for the nameplate. Look at this. This one say PNP. PNP simply means positive, negative, positive. So in that case now, PMP means that sensor is going to transmit positive to your output. Let me repeat again. Let me make it more elementary. PNP and uh, NPN. Don't pay attention to this, okay? If this sensor is of PMP type, that means the output that sensor is giving to me that I'm using to control my circuit is going to be positive signal. It's going to be positive signal. So in that case, this sensor is a um, sinking sensor. That is the configuration connection, sinking sensor. I repeat again, if I buy a sensor and the sensor is written PNP, that means the transmitting signal from the output from the sensor is going to be positive signal. So I'm going to get positive positive from the output then if i get a sensor and the sensor is written npn that means the output coming from sensor is going to be a negative signal all right you have to pay attention then always look for npn or pnp depending on your transmitting signal if you are transmitting positive to your control logic you're going to need pnp if you are transmitting negative to control so your control logic you're going to need npn so depending on your configuration okay all right so if that is taken take away this so we are going to uh, practice the two both pnp and npn but before then let's now illustrate um simulate this i've taken output here positive signal is coming out from here positive signal all right let's do that now look at it it's on now look at is giving me positive signal all right okay now if that is taken that means here is positive the output from my sensor is positive i have negative here already all right now let me change it to npn all right i'm going to switch to the npn now all right i don't change it to npn now now let's simulate you see that you are not going to get a result Watch, no result. You know the reason? All right, no result because what I'm getting from here is no longer positive. I'm getting negative here. If I have negative signal here coming to my load and I have negative here already, so two negative cannot give me output. I will not have a load. So in that case, I'm going to change the connection so that I have negative here now, not no more positive. So I'm going to change the connection. I'm going to say, okay, since this is negative, so I'm going to change here, take away this, take away this. Um, pay attention, please. All right, I'm going to take away this, change this to positive. So watch the way I do that. So since I have positive here already, so negative here already, so let me send this one to positive. All right. So in that case now, negative is coming from my sensor to feed my load. Then positive is coming from here to my source. So let's simulate now. Have you seen? 
take a look i have output now now the previous exercise we did when we get positive here is called sinking sensor is sink sinking connection then this one now is sourcing connection this one is that sensor give me negative so i'm sourcing if i change it the other way around the first one i did i'm sinking okay so don't just allow the english the language of uh, sinking sourcing to confuse you you just the conventionally switch um function of this um sensor is a switching function it does switch neither is disclosed or closed either is giving you negative to complete your signal or is giving you positive to complete your signal so that is the name for say uh, sinking sourcing don't allow sinking sourcing to bother you i just illustrated it here okay i just showed you the the difference between the sensing and sinking okay what i'm going to do again to make it more elementary so that you understand it again is let me change this to another lactra sensor okay let me change it now to lactra view i just change it nothing this one now is what you normally see in your day-to-day -day activity okay so i take away the other shape the elevation shape um, so now let's still work it again so that you can quite agree with me that sensor simply means switching function open and close okay i still have my supply here so this is the sensor and this is the output so let's do again so that you will not be confused i send my positive here i send my negative here okay i want to power my load i have negative here i feed my load i need positive positive come from my sensor why i change it this way so that the three cable you will see them facially coming direct instead of coming diagonal and the opposite i cross form okay all right now this is my positive this is my negative and this is the output coming from my sensor and that as uh, output is positive signal so let's find out ah it's not coming up man okay let's see if that is negative signal okay we are on pnp let's go npn let's go pnp we are on p and npn okay let's see now let's change it down all right you see i have my power so let's change it again to npn all right simulate now it will not work so you have to change your logic again so in that case this one is negative so i don't need negative because i have negative here already so what i'll do is to take away this and now feed this feed this my negative here and uh, come up to take my positive just hold on i feed my positive here so i change this polarity okay so let's test now you see i'm on now so this is how you understand sourcing and sinking is another method too now let me just give you a preview of how switch looks Sorry, um, on how to use this um, uh, sensor to activate our relay like i told you whenever i want to use a sensor check out for the voltage and check out for the uh current rating of this the transmitting current like if i have 30 milliamp is very small the current is very small so in that case i cannot use this type of sensor to activate 400 amps contactor okay because 400 amps contactor the coil may be close to 200 watts i know it's an inductive load the coil of a contactor is a is a purely inductive load because it's a transformer so in that case i cannot interface my contactor directly with my sensor so in that case i will interface with a relay first 
they really now give me power to the contactor coil. All right, so let's see how we can do that. go about that. We are still using our sensor. Let's change it to PNP. We want to use positive signal. Okay, this is my uh, sensor. All right, then. Um, all right, now uh, before we use our sensor to interface a relay to power a relay and contactor, I want to also um, design our own. Let's try if we can design our own sensor because. I know some people will still be scared on how to use sensor. Let's design our own sensor. Leave this. Let me just do bring up something here. Just let's design our own sensor. Just watch. Um, I have something like this. Uh, I have something like this. Okay. Then um, Just watch I'm doing. I'm trying to create a composition of that sensor. The internal composition is what I'm trying to give to you now. All right, now this is the sensor we are talking about. This is the sensor. Now watch. This sensor demand negative here, also demand positive here. Then the sensor will now close here and give you output from here. All right, let's take away this and make it, um, let me make it positive. Anyone can go anyway. This one can go. Can be negative. Okay, this is the sensor. Okay, this is the sensor. Then this is the lead. This particular lead here. This one, two, three is what I have here. The center one is the output. This one is negative. This one is positive. All right. So we are going to do that and use it. Supposing here is zero, the composition you can't find. You can't see the switch inside. I'm trying to give you. Uh, what is transpiring right inside the component is what I'm trying to create inside here. Okay. No, not exactly, but because we have some semiconductors, transistor, and uh, um, ICs and so on, integrated circuits put together to create that function of what you have from your output. Okay. But I'm trying to give you the switching function of the sensor. Okay. All right. Um, this is what I have as the sensor with three lead out. So I want to use this to power a lamp. So I get my lamp. I put my lamp here. Okay. So I want to use this to power my lamp. So I need a...
sorry um take away this take away this take away this leave it this way okay so i'm going to feed my power here Okay, this is my power. This is negative, this is positive. Oh, this is life. Let me use a, let me use a positive, negative instead of life and neutral. Okay, then we need negative here. Okay, this is my supply now. So I have to send my positive to this terminal. I have to also send my negative to this terminal. Okay, so that negative here is going to be further supply to this my lamp if i'm using the same voltage then positive is coming from here from the sensor to my load all right here is going to be seal and this is the terminal provided from the uh, sensor for you to connect your termination will be here but inside this the sensor what is happening is that the sensor is closing positive signal right inside closing here once the activation take place here is going to close to give you output here all right okay you are also aware that this place and this place is the negative and positive supply which sensor we now use to carry out the function before here will close all right so let's do that and see so if i have this and uh, um, this sensor happens to be a proximity sensor the tip here sends, let me just hold on. Let's put a tip. Let's create a tip for the sensor. Sorry, um, let's create a tip this way for the sensor. Okay, this is the sensing tip. For the sensor okay when this tip senses the presence of object or a human being then here will close and give output here so let's do that now so if someone passes here to block the view of this tip here will get operated once here closes you will now have output here so that is what is happening right inside the sensor so that is how the configuration of this terminal will be. All right. Okay. You have gotten enough example of this configuration of a sensor. So now let's use the sensor to activate a relay. Okay. 